Tardive dyskinesia is a neurological disorder. Main characteristics of tardive dyskinesia is involuntary repetitive movements. For example, eye blinking and grimacing, stick out of tongue, wave arms without meaning, jerking hand and leg movements, neck twisting, pursing of the lips, excessive eye blinking. The cause of tardive dyskinesia is prolonged intake of dopamine receptor blocking medications such as antipsychotics and metoclopramide. Tardive dyskinesia is also related to prolonged use of medications for nausea and medications that treat neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease. The risk of tardive dyskinesia increases with age and more common among females. Smoking, substance use and uncontrolled diabetes further increases risk. Tardive dyskinesia is often misdiagnosed as a mental illness rather than a neurological disorder and as a result, people are prescribed neuroleptic drugs, it can worse prognosis. Tardive dyskinesia may persist after withdrawal of the drug for months, years, or even permanently. If tardive dyskinesia is diagnosed, the causative drug should be discontinued. Some studies suggest that practitioners should consider using atypical antipsychotics as a substitute to typical antipsychotics for people requiring medication. These agents are associated with fewer neuromotor side effects and a lower risk of developing tardive dyskinesia. Prevention of tardive dyskinesia is achieved by using the lowest effective dose of a neuroleptic for the shortest time. Treatment The first level of treatment options include valbonazine and dutetrabenazine. Second level treatment options include clonazepam, which is sometimes given as a short-term medication for muscle rigidity. People have also found relief from the herbal supplement ginkgo biloba. Tetrabinazine, which is a dopamine-depleting drug, is sometimes used to treat tardive dyskinesia and other movement disorders, e.g. Huntington's chorea. Vitamin B6 has been reported to be an effective treatment for TD in two randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials. But the evidence is weak.